some big plants like this need to be split up and it's very similar whether it's in a pot or whether you're digging it up from the ground as to what you have to do. So you need to get rid of all of the top growth here and cut it down as low as you can. I've got a wheelbarrow next to me because it makes life a lot easier. Then get rid of all of the old stuff and it's usually quite easy just to actually pull it off. You don't need to be at all worried because most of this is going to die back. This is not a totally evergreen plant. So if it's easier to do it that way than to use your snips all the time, then that's what you do. Then tip it out of the pot and container like so. And you can see that it has got a large amount of root on here. Now, if you're going to split this up, you need to put it into another pot or you're going to put it into the ground, then the easiest way of reducing the root is using a saw like this. And you literally will saw off the bottom of the plant like so. That goes in the wheelbarrow. You don't need that. That's excess to requirement. Then look at the plant. Can you see how it's naturally going in half here? So that's what you're going to do. You're going to find the natural half. It's a little bit like cutting up a cake um, and making it into slices. There you go. There's your first half. There's not very much growth this side of the plant, so get rid of any excess like that. And then look at it again, and you're probably wanting to, if you're going to put this into the garden or you're going to repot it up you don't want to make it really really tiny and really small because you want the plant to be flowering next year so all you need to do is have a little look in there and put the saw in and away you go there you go two nice pieces of that bit of the plant you could leave this complete but you're going to get a really nice chunky bit that size that will be the bit that will go back into that pot and you can take this bit off just slightly smaller at the side here so just position your saw down you go it's like cutting butter absolutely no problem at all there are three plants for going out somewhere into maybe into pots something like that this lovely big plant that will now go in there because it's going to fill up that container and flower brilliantly these three would be ideal to go in the ground and if you were spacing them for planting in the ground remember the easiest way hold things at shoulder width put them down and then the third one goes in that position like that. So that was Succizella, really really nice, very easy to do. I always like to be quite tidy, it's great having your wheelbarrow beside you on a bench. Always work on a bench that's the right height for you as well. We're not all the same height, we like them at different heights. This is just a really nice, easy way to do. So the lithrum, exactly the same. There's not much greenery on this at the moment, but there's an awful lot of uh, sticky growth at the top here. You just want to cut that back because if you don't do it beforehand, you can poke your eye and you know all those sorts of things will happen. And it just makes life a lot easier to cut it down. And if you cut it down to about the height that I've got here, what's that, about four inches? What's that, 20 centimetres? It, it's just easy height and it's workable with. Now again, the same thing with this is tip it out of the pot, no problem at all. And look, again, it's got lovely things and you even got the odd worm in here, which is brilliant. Well, our little Robin will come and enjoy that, I'm sure. So the same thing again goes here. Take off the bottom roots of this. These have a little bit more of a tap root, so it's not quite as easy to get through as it is on the Succizella, which is more fibrous rooted. But you've still got this idea that you've got to get through it. It's actually got quite a lot in there. Um, so we'll just go around it. Perhaps I need a sharper saw. There we go. That's all done. All the rubbish goes into there. As you can see, we've got a label tucked down the side. Always a good idea to keep your labels tucked down the sides and then you know what you've got. So old wood, you can just sort of take out of here. And then you've got to look at the plant, you know, can you take bits off the side? Do you want a large piece? What are you going to be doing? We want to make this into a show plant. So you can see here how the plant is growing below ground level. Lovely shoots, nice new buds coming off the side here. 
lovely new buds here as well. So it's a healthy plant. So I would say we don't want to be cutting it as small as a succizella because it doesn't grow at such a speed. So we will just be taking a bit off the edge down through here when I can get it through. Sometimes they're not as easy to cut up as other things and sometimes it's just a little bit more exertion to get it through and then breaking it off. There we go. So nice little piece there that will go into a pot. Um, this then we just have a little tidy up of the edges, a little bit of root pruning doesn't do them any harm because uh, actually it's really really good and at this time you can also see if there's any little weeds that have managed to get into the top there weeds are pesky things they get in all over the place still a little bit big for my liking for going back into that pot so we'll take another side piece off um, if they're not good enough we'll discard um, because that you know this plant is going to be perfectly big enough so in the end all I've ended up doing is trimming this plant it's now quite a bit smaller but because of the amount of root ball that's there there is going to be enough compost to extra to go into the pot to get it going and growing on and looking really really tidy oops nearly forgot to put the label in that's always the thing remember to put the labels back in to the plants that you took them from because otherwise you can mix them up and if you don't know the plants properly then you've got that problem so it looks as though i was really mean to this plant but it's still got lots of vigor in here and there's a lot of it going to be growing on this bit of harsh root pruning doesn't do it any harm whatsoever because it wants to grow it wants to put on new root and that's what you want new roots new growth and you'll get a really stonking plant afterwards so that one will grow away really nicely and be flowering beautifully in the middle of the summer <laughs>